Hi, I'm Abigail Masayon and I will be discussing the order Siphon Culata and Plura. Sucking Lies They are small insects ranging from less than 0.5 to 8 mm in length in the adult and about 2 mm is an average length. The antenna are usually 5 segmented, the eyes are reduced and usually absent, and there are no oxali which is used to detect movement, and the 3 thoracic segments are fused. The legs have a single tarsal segment and single claw. When the claw is retracted, it makes contact with the thumb-like process on the tibia, and enables the louse to maintain firm attachment to an active host. There is one pair of spiracles, the mesothoracic, on the thorax and six pairs, segment 3 to 8, on the abdomen, which has 9 segments in all. Seven of 9 segments are visible. The left photo is an example of a head of an apurang louse. Eight split sucking stylets occupy the medium plane of the head. On the right photo, it presents the Selenopotes capillatus or the louse of the cattle. It shows that the first pair of tarsal claws is smaller than the second and third pairs. Eight spiracles protrude above the surface of the abdomen and only one row of setae is present per abdominal segment. The suborder Anoplura contains several families, two of which are major importance in veterinary medicine. First, the family Hematopinidae. The family Hematopinidae contains the genus Hematopinus, which is one of the primary genera of veterinary importance, species of which are among the largest lice domestic mammals, up to 0.5 cm in length, found in cattle, pigs, and horses. For its general characteristic, in the head, the eyes are absent, in its head has forward prolongation temporal angles behind antenna. For its thorax, it is broad and has marked paratigial plates and the abdomen is also broad and one row of spines in each abdominal segment is present. For its legs, all the pairs of legs is similar in size. Tarsi with one claw, hair held between claw and thumb-like process and ventral apical angle of tibia spiny pad, tibial pad. On the left photo, it presents the hematopinus suis or the louse of the swine. And on the right, there are two hematopinus asini present, clinging to horse hairs and several operculate eggs, glued to the hair of the equine host. Hematopinus eurysternus or the short-nosed louse. It is one of the largest lice of domestic mammals, measuring 3.4 to 4.8 mm in length. This is the Hematopinus suis, or the hag louse, the Hematopinus tuberculatus, the buffalo louse, and some other examples are the Hematopinus quadripartosus, or the tail switch louse, Hematopinus asini, horse sucking louse, Hematopinus eurysternus, or the cattle louse. The table presents the Hematopinus species of veterinary importance. Second, the family Lenognathidae. There are two genera of veterinary importance in the family Lenognathidae, the Lenognathus and Selenopotes. Members of these families are distinguished by the absence of eyes and ocular points. Most species of Lenognathus are found on Arteodactyla and few on carnivores. For its general characteristics, in the head, the eyes are absent, its thorax, it is broad and the peritigal plates are absent. In the abdomen, it is narrow and the hairs are present. In the leg, the first pair of the legs are the smallest. Linognatus vituli or the louse of the cattle. The photo shows the first pair of tarsal claws is smaller than the second and third pairs. Its spiracles are flush with the surface of the abdomen and more than one row of setae is present per abdominal segment. The long-nosed cattle louse is a bluish-black medium-sized lice with an elongated pointed head and body and approximately 2.5 mm in length. This is the Lanognatus setosus or the dog-sucking louse 
and the other example is Selenognathus tenopsis, goat louse, Therus pubis, human pubic louse, Lenognathus setosus, dog sucking louse, Pediculus humanus, or the human head louse. The table shows the Lenognathus species of veterinary importance. The species host and the site of its infestation. That's all, thank you.